Hello gamers, this is Mike Zorch, and today we're doing something a little different. Instead of an arcade game, or some retro game from a machine in the past, we're looking at something that is inspired by retro games, that is more modern. This is a game called Project Warlock, and it's very much inspired by classic games such as the Blood franchise and Hexen. Most definitely it has a hexen feel to it. You travel through various time periods. You start out in sort of a medieval fantasy sort of time period with uh, a few weapons, a few melee weapons, and a staff that fires energy blasts. And your ammo is a little limited, so you have to be... you have to really strategize on what enemies you want to use it on. Because even in casual mode here, it is a difficult game, but it's a fun game. There are some options where you can set the color palette to emulate different retro 8-bit computers and consoles, like the, um, the ZX Spectrum or the Commodore 64. You can do that, or you can set up different scanline modes. But overall, the look the way it is right now is great aesthetic and yeah it is another pixelated indie retro inspired game and some people get a little tired of that but there are other people who just eat this stuff up and it's a fun game what sets this game a little different from other titles is that there is some progression you collect points as you travel throughout the game and you use those points to upgrade weapons, which what you're seeing here, I'm trying to upgrade a weapon, but I don't have enough points, but you can acquire spells, which is what I'm doing here. I'm getting a light spell, because some areas of the game are pretty dark, and so you'll need a way to light your way, and then you can up your stats on your character you have character stats you have levels so in a way it's also partially something like an rpg as well and then after making selections you move on to the next stage and that's pretty much the game you the variety of enemies that you run into is um surprisingly very good uh, you're not running into a lot of the same enemies all the time. Uh, in the medieval section, you're seeing bats, you're seeing spiders, you're seeing these human creatures that come at you. There are some enemies with shields. I did not get to the other stages of the game for this for this uh, presentation. It's not really a review, this is more a showcase to show that this game is out there to drum up interest, see if you might want to try it. I didn't purchase this game. It was received free because of my uh, Prime subscription for Amazon, and my account is linked with Twitch, so that's how I got the game free. But this is available on Steam, and it's not an expensive game, and it's fun. It can be challenging, even on casual mode, as you can see here. And I really uh, encourage you to check it out. If you're really into retro-inspired games like this that are similar to Hexen, similar to the original Quake, Wolfenstein 3D, in many ways, but has old retro style graphics, but also new technologies, new visual technologies as well. So I encourage you to check it out. And this has been Mike DeZorch, and I'll leave you to watch the rest of the game.